Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts Round 4, Road to 56 and Japan. Last episode, we conquered United States and took a lot of coastline right here and begun our invasion of South America. And, uh, well, we continuously, well, keep pushing in right here in German land. They are about to fall. We are doing great right there. <sighs> God, I almost forgot to record today. Like, I sat here in the morning, a nice Sunday morning, ate some waffles, played some StarCraft and StarCraft 2 custom games. You know, the entire free update they made. I was like, why haven't I played StarCraft in a while? It was awesome, and I was like looking at the clock, and I'm like, holy shit, it's 3 o'clock. I've completely forgotten to record my morning episode. So, um, well, I guess afternoon episode. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> God, uh, maybe I should start recording some StarCraft videos. That could be fun. Uh, let's see, at least for me. Uh, let's see, six more days right there. Okay, cool, we're gonna continue that. Here we, yeah, keep, just keep pushing. The same thing right here in the north, they basically can't stop us anymore. They they have done whatever they could to hold us back right now. We're just gonna finish them off right now. Finish them off, like we're taking over Finland. Uh, boring, yeah. <laughs> let's just ask from territory right here, from the Russians, so we can actually have a pretty, well, we can have Finland back again, or the Finnish white collar back again, but it's not going to be Finland, it's going to be Japan. Awesome. Uh, right here, we are just keep pushing in right now. What are the current losses in this war? Uh, let's see, 2.1 versus 6.8. So, um, God, some people are going to be very, very close to the correct number. Uh, fall of Berlin, awesome. Early today, the fall of the right gently marked the end of the epic battle through the war-torn uh, war streets of Berlin. Japanese soldiers have raised the Hinomaru over the damaged building. The corpses of the SS defenders lit uh, littering almost every room and of the building and street around it. Twice as many Japanese soldiers laying with them. No, that's not true. That's not even close to true. It, it, it'd be like... It would be cool if it could change that, like, that sentence depending on, like, checking the values of the last month's casualties. So, like, it take th these casualties from both sides of the war, checking them, and then change... Ooh, that could be really cool. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the battle for the right side was comparatively short after a German plane lost control and slammed into the building. Its fuel tanks tearing most of the heavily fortified building, uh, building down with it. Now with the right channel gone, only a handful of defenders remain bunkered down in the Gendermar Gendarmenmark Concert House. Oh God, I really, I really, I really shouldn't try to say German stuff. Uh, but Japanese soldiers have already inser uh, inserted into the outer rooms of the building. German Japanese troops have been inserted. That sounds very weird, right? That's weird, right? Um, wait, if I stop pushing here in the north, everything connected to the capital, when they fall, will, well, you yeah, switch over to me. So if I make sure that this northern part is connected by land, then all of this should fall at the same time when Germany falls. So I wanna, I wanna keep that well, at least try to keep that left. Well, uh, border connected still. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, we had something kind of important. Um, oh, right, right, right. One thing right here. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to make one, well, separate order with you. And you're just going to go in and take down Norway. Because I checked who I need to, well, make sure... Who I need to bring down to make Germany fall. Or de faction fall. Right, protect Norwegian. First of all, shouldn't it be Raj Protector and Norway, and not Nor Norwegian? And how in hell is this a major player in the war? It's a zero, 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 one division strong nation. They have nothing else. They have no manpower. They have four boats, 134 planes. What the hell? How, how in hell is that a worthy, <laughs> worthy player? Uh, luckily, United States have some boats right here. Oh, right, we also need to do that. Um, yeah, United States have some boats right there, so we don't have to use our own. But we should grab our own and actually start moving them around all the way, let's say... Hmm, that's a... Oh, North Carolina, that's a bad base. Uh, a good one? Yeah, Pennsylvania, that's a better one. So let's just move our entire navy there if we can. 
There we go. Uh, it's on its way. Cool. Because we're gonna need that. We're gonna need it once we wanna invade United Kingdom right here. Or do we? We seem to have some ally right here from Russian Empire. So maybe they will succeed with some kind of invasion and then we'll just, well, join them in that. Cool. Um, otherwise, we should write, we continue with this war declarations because, well, there's a lot of land right here that we need to grab. There's a lot of land. Uh, if we just check like this. Basically, we will almost have to bring down the entirety of South America. It's going to be one hell of a war right there. I'm even thinking if I should just declare war against Argentina and Bolivia. And, well, Colombia we have to. And just make sure that everyone joined the Axis so we can have one consistent front of just moving down and bringing down every single nation right there. Including Uruguay, even though we don't have to. Just, just so it's pretty and easy. So we don't have to navigate through different nations. Uh, right here, just keep at it. Sure, you're taking probably some attrition right there, but we have 300, 3, 7 million men. Which actually don't die from attrition, but um, we have enough equipment to last two, lifesti two lifetimes. Ah, hard, hard to speak today, I've noticed. Uh, let's see, can we just push in here and grab Munich? And hopefully that would be pretty much it. Uh, now a bit more right here. Oh, right, we had war right here. And they were actually quite difficult to actually bring down. We just took some random troops from... Uh, who was it? From um, Sinkian, I think. And they weren't super good. <laughs> they couldn't beat the poor little Bhutan. Oh, well, the Union of Red Dragons right now. Uh, there you go. Nicaragua has fallen. So I need, well, I need you guys to just continue moving forward. Just fire war gold right here against Costa Rica. Actually, we already just fired against them. Cool. Wait, 50 days? It said 10 days before. That was the entire point. I was like, wow. That's so amazing. We can just fight against two nations at the same time and still only have 10 days. Stupid. Now it says 10 days right here. Is it 10 days? So something with re saving and reloading the game made the second 10 days go to a 50 day. So if I cancel this one since it's, well, another 30 days and justify a new war goal, it's... You did something. You just did something that increases speed. And now we have to wait 50 days. You just... Okay, that... That that they actually did something to slow down our justification made a hell of a lot more sense than loading and saving. Made something to, well, increase the time. And now I'm just gonna have to pay for it and wait 50 days instead of 25 days. Ah, damn it, Daniel. Why do you always do this? Look and think about it and check stuff before doing. Stupid, stupid Daniel. And unfortunately, we'll, well, we will have to cut this off because that's a major city and Germany doesn't seem to want to well, bring that down. Well, Germany doesn't seem to want to fall before we bring that down. Uh, let's just continue straight forward as aggressively as possible. Take down every city. Nuremberg. Yeah, we have to, of course, take that down. That's a major, major part for the, for their cause. Like, I'm avoiding saying for, well, ideology cause, because stuff like that gets demonetized. <laughs> uh, so, for the cause, we're going to bring down Nuremberg. Numbered trials. Yeah, well, wasn't there also where, where they were held? Uh, okay. Come on, bring that unit, Red Dragon, awesome, Fallen, which means, okay, Guatemala, you, I'm supposed to take, right? Yeah, I'm supposed to just grab all of that, thank you. But uh, you, Union Red Dragon, yeah, you're just going to be a puppet. And if I'm 100% correct, aren't you supposed to be the Thunder Dragon Empire right now? Ooh, that's so much better, so much better. Uh, okay, all of you go troops. Well, yeah, you're gonna be disbanded, but disband completely and return to your home. Oh, wait, really? It was two of my soldiers as well? Oh, oh no, Sinkian. Oh, yeah, that was to click soldiers. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, aren't we at war with allies as well? Yes, we are at war with allies as well. I was thinking, crap, we'll actually have to avoid their lines, but no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't at all. Just do this and increase this front line by a bit more. Thank you. And just push in. Uh, let's change that front line to something like this. Thank you. So just take this entire thing and just keep pushing. 
keep pushing straight forward. Nothing, nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Just keep pushing straight forward. Something, 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 something. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. You three divisions are moving down right there. If you could just go in right here. Okay, everyone be more aggressive. Holy crap. They're not super aggressive. That's why it's taking so much longer right now. I thought everyone was, was super aggressive because we have broken them right now. Everything that is left is just to finish them. So, um, just, well, basically break them. Push as, as aggressively as possible. Greater Albania wants to join my faction. Well, no. I don't accept any faction invites. The only people who get to join my faction are the people I bring down and, well, are forced into my faction. You just keep pushing straight forward while one unit should go right there. I don't know exactly why right there, but it felt like a, like a good province. Okay, uh, research to be done. We need to double check and see. Next weapon is uh, kind of reasonable within time, but we have other stuff to do first. Uh, this guy, the place right here. Can you do your order? Yes, you can. Awesome. Uh, where are my boats right now? They're on the east coast. Excellent. Uh, we're just going to give you your orders right now. And you're going to, well, surround England. And very, very soon we will have a, well, we will have, actually, if you just grab that one, then we can just go and grab that port. German, Germany has fallen and, oh, great, we actually got this anyway. Ah, oh, yes. We don't have to fight this entire annoying battle and it seems like no other divisions were stationed here, which is even better. Because then we have, don't have to fight even more annoying battles. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so bloody awesome. Okay, everyone get assigned right here. Every single one of you should be assigned right here. Oh God, let's just clean up all orders. Okay, everyone assigned right there. Done, yes. One order that is right there. Cool, very good. So what we're going to do right here is you're going to clean up this. You're going to clean up that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to grab a couple of divisions right here. You're going to be assigned right here. You are going to hopefully just go in and bring that down. You guys assigned right here. Just assigning some... Like, some divisions are not definitely not going to be necessary, like assigning three divisions right here. But just to keep a couple more divisions to the south right here, if necessary. And let's see, I want to grab that tank and see if you can bring down that enemy. So, the rest of you, just go down. Thank you. And uh, that also means I can now assign my fleet right here to a better port. Uh, let's see, that's on level 3. I think this is usually a good one, but we don't own it yet. Come on, just go in right here. Come on, don't grab Hamburg for me. Don't grab Hamburg. I want my hamburgers. That was so boring. I'm sorry, but something something just something in my head just said, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. And I said it and I instantly regret it. Uh, those voices in your head, man, those voices in your head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sound like an insane person. Maybe because I am insane. Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, you're probably you're probably thinking every single episode. I'm usually a bit weird. Well, never be normal. Normal normal is boring. Okay, attack right here. Mm. Who the, who's so a m mishmash of random troops from different places are actually holding standing against my troops pl pretty goddamn well. That's unacceptable, to be honest. That's bloody unacceptable. Um, well, my fleet is at least surrounding this entire area, which will hopefully open up for invasions by my allies, even if I won't do one just yet. I want to clean up more of this area first. Uh, actually, first, until you have regrouped, be a bit more careful. Actually, be very careful until you have regrouped. Uh, let's see right here. Please push in. Maybe you can beat it alone, but together with a couple more troops, you should be able to do it. Nice, you cleaned that up very, very, very quickly. And uh, let's actually make an order like this and actually execute that one as well. Thank you. Uh, come on. There we go. Together with that Japanese artillery division. Actually, not artillery, infantry division, but mainly consisting of artillery. You are fine. And uh, then I want both of you to just go down right there and clean that up. Uh, you can hurry the hell up. Because otherwise you're going to be much, much later than the tank division. Actually, you can do like this now. Normal walking. Cool. So you can regain some of that organization. And there we go. 
Greece fell and once again no additional random division that is just holding down a annoying province but just everyone give me that up very nice so I'm gonna grab a couple of your divisions eight of them seems pretty pretty nice and just set up a small garrison division every single time I decide on oh it's not gonna be necessary this time and every single time I regret it uh, the same thing right here actually let's grab a couple of couple of divisions right here uh, let's see. Yeah, those would probably be enough. Just nine divisions. I just want a slight, slight, very, very slight garrison division right here. That's basically going to guard this area. That's that's good enough. Just in case of them trying to naval invade me something from here. Uh, let's actually remove that province and just have nine divisions like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And let's grab you two to just garrison this island. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Cool. Uh, let's see. Unassigned divisions. We have three divisions right here. I just join up one of these garrison divisions, it's fine. And actually, since you're 12 right now, I could add that province as well. Cool! <laughs> Instantly regretting how many divisions you want here. Cool, we have still 150 divisions here on the front line, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's try to reduce this front size. Uh, come on. There we go. Let's see. Wait, really? You managed to break my divisions? No. There you go. Cool. Okay, that was weird. Uh, let's see, everyone in independent state of Croatia has fallen. Here we do have, well, quite many annoying random troops from random different areas that are still keeping, well, staying with the defense right here. Which we have to stop, of course. Uh, please bring that down. You are going to focus on this very, very southern part right here. Just bring that down. Italy can be quite of an annoying enemy. Uh, most of your divisions are actually in position right now, so let's just be very aggressive once again. Take down the allies, take down the axis, take down everyone that is standing against us. And 22 divisions from a, well, empty province. Ooh, that's that's overdoing it slightly, even for, even for my taste. Uh, let's see, everyone just try to march down right there, except you. You should keep it. Awesome, perfect. Uh, military access from Turkey, no. Oh well, they wanted they wanted my military access, not that way. Like I said, uh, cool. Everything here is down. We actually we, wait. What really? We have to take more than just your capital, really? Wait, you don't even have a port right there on your capital. My division died. My division died attacking. Hello, one, two, that, there's three divisions, okay. <laughs> My division apparently died from attacking your unit. Well, it's not completely a surprise since, well, I didn't have supply or anything similar. So let's just do one division right there, one division right there, and take the third division and do from there. So basically one division to just take all of these provinces. Let's assign a commander. You are pretty good. Mountain areas. Yeah, this is actually not mountains at all. Well, at least one province at least. So your bones are gonna be quite decent. Uh, everyone right here is just pushing in. Right? Yeah, no real problems. Current losses against Germany is 2.5 million versus versus 8.6 million. I think I said 510. Or what did it say? 7.510? Oh, I don't remember what <laughs> what I said. How in hell am I supposed to remember what everyone else said? I'll have to double check and you see if we have a winner later. Uh, let's see. No, that's 300 days. We have finished this one. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, more, more reliability. Sure, sure. I will accept that. Uh, just safety down because actually artillery is fine. We're in even increasing right now. Uh, that's actually mostly I think because no foreign equipment is 6,000. We were at 11,000 now we're at 13,000 from our own production which means we have at least increased our own production by 2,000. Uh, the magic line is actually holding but not for very long. The intense artillery pressure we have ha have actually probably destroyed uh, two levels or something of this fort. Uh, can we check more easily right now? Oh, come on, someone just logged in on Steam, so I can't check this. No, 10 of 10. So it's just one level that is slightly damaged. Uh, we've cleaned up everything right there. Awesome. Let's see. I think we'll have to do two front lines right now. So, I'm, but with the same order. So, 150 division. But I'm going to select all of these in the south. And basically tell you to be assigned right there. It's actually something you can do. And something that can be quite useful. So, yeah. U50 divisions assigned right there from the same front. Yeah, this is great. Uh, cool, let's just fix that. Anything else? Oh, we actually have an invasion right here of United Kingdom. We didn't even have to do anything. Uh, well, 
we are doing some things by well basically removing the British fleet but um, yeah cool uh, I think I'm actually might just steal a couple of divisions to that ourselves then uh, let's see can we just find a couple of divisions somewhere they will have five divisions uh, let's just move you right here can we find any more divisions that are kind of useless or not doing anything right now you 12 divisions who am I I'm fearing an invasion right here but it won't be able to grab as much territory to revive any nation and okay let's just let's just grab you then uh, you wait 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 yeah yeah you're supposed to go right there together with um, this random two stack in place here then we have 19 divisions right there none are really my, division, my divisions but they're good enough to make a jump right there and sorry actually yeah you should have that one and I should have that one uh, then jump back right here and you're gonna grab the auto supply negative penalty guy right there level 3 right there and let's you execute your stuff actually do we have superiority in this entire area? yes we do oh awesome so we don't actually have to do anything ourselves. I thought at least aren't you done with this planning or something hello I think I executed your order oh we don't have any co we don't have enough convoys for this we don't have close to enough convoys what the hell happened? Something something was cut, cut off. No, that can't be it. That shouldn't harm us at all. Okay, okay, what's going on right now? Uh, I could, of course, fix this by just not trading as much. Let's see, 600 right there. You're actually quite adept at intercepting those stuff. Do we, we don't need all this. What we need is just win this war. So give me back my convoys and I will win this war, yes. There you go. 19 divisions on your way to Eng England, right? Yep, cool. And that should be the same thing right here. You, just go for it. Yep, very nice. Win my war and I will have all the steel in the world. And we are actually only missing 1000 steel, so it's not that much. <laughs> We're missing 1000 steel, holy shit. Uh, let's do like this, managed occupied territory. Where are you? Germany. Germany, Germany, right there. At the very, very top. And by forcing them very, very harshly, that's going to give us quite a bit of oil. Nice. And we're importing 40, 40 oil, which I don't need. So that in at least increases us a tiny bit, steel wise. <sighs> we should just build even more steel. Let's see. Let's just get all of this area filled with steel. Come on, maybe that will help me slightly, but well, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to finish all of this before the war has ended. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of civilian factories right now. We have, we have 50 being restricted right there, but we're, we, we have like, okay, let's see, 50 and that's 3% consuming goods. So we have quite many lines that are being produced at the same time right here. So we're basically producing, I don't know. 30, 40, 50 things to, at the same time with, well, with 15 factories each, which is unbelievably good. It's awesome. It's godlike. I don't know what to say. So everyone right here, you are on your way. Very good. Let's see. Oh, right. We have this entire South American thing going on right here. Uh, let's clear that war. And right here, we even, <laughs> we missed this war goal. That's 10 days right there. Uh, that's controlled by me. And uh, we need to justify this war as well. That's gonna take 65 days. Let's just actually, if we start to justify that war, yeah, let's cancel that one. Let's cancel that one. Let's justify this war goal first. That's gonna take 10. Okay. And the second one is gonna take 10 days as well. So by just doing it this in a different order, both of these will be 10 days instead of one being 10 days and the other one being 65 days. All right, I'm completely fine with that. That's a bit weird, but fine. Uh, execute your order, please. And just take this down. God, we will have so much. This is going to be the last area that will basically have to be brought down, I think. Uh, right here, we have a bunch of divisions. Yeah, just keep moving out. Uh, take this and build a level 10 port right here. And level 10 infrastructure, if we have time. Right here, we just keep pushing in against them let's see allied losses 2.2 million my losses well 
one million in this war, but um, mostly this is the one thing that is interesting because here is where I've lost most divisions. Assigned right here, just take this down, 32 divisions right there. Slightly too, l actually 32 divisions is more than enough. We're doing fine. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh god, still justifying war. I think it's pretty fine if you just declare war a bit right and left right now. I think your people are with you, especially since you have pretty much taken over the entire world. We are war with the entirety of, well, Africa, but it's fine. It's completely fine, since, well, it's not anything really important right here. <laughs> God, insulting an entire continent. I, I don't think I've done that very much before. But, well, game-wise, I don't have to kill anyone right there to win my war. You should feel honored. You're going to be one of few nations left, I think. Uh, let's see, declare that war and declare that war. So I think I'm pretty much, I have a, I'm at war with everyone I need to be at war with. No, we actually have to be at war with Ecuador at least. Uh, let's see, you guys, whoever plan, yeah, this plan. Uh, yeah, your new order is, or new, wait, wait, really? We can't do offensive order? I thought we would be able to, oh wait, no, because we have an ally right here in between, that's why. Uh, come on, move in, just go in. Go that entire way. Please? Yeah, good. You are moving now. God, you have horrible supply right here. But it would be fine, I think. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Just keep, keep moving. And it would be fine. Costa Rica is capitulated. Awesome. Nanyak, just keep moving. It, this will be bad supply until we actually start arriving here in Afri uh, America. South America. When we start to like spread, spread out this entire way. Until that moment, we will have horde supply. Right here in the north, we are actually pushing in quite nicely. Uh, one division. Okay, one division can go right there, not two. And you are just basically marching in. United Kingdom has 150 divisions, but I think they're mostly well spread out along the entire world. Probably in uh, well Africa and... Actually, where in hell would they otherwise be? Africa and their homeland, but I don't see any troops right here trying to stop me. So far, at least. Uh, please be more aggressive. Just bring down everyone. Right here, we're just beating the crap of everyone. Galapagos Island, we have war with you. Or my justification against you. Thank you. Declare that war. And now we just have one very big front. <laughs> it's only Argentina and Bolivia that we're not at war with. We might declare war against them, but we'll actually wait a tiny bit with it if we are going to. Uh, there we go, Panama is taken, excellent. Wait, 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 no, that's not excellent. Col Colombia brought you down and not me. Okay, I guess that's fine. We're just gonna take down both of you, so it doesn't really matter who took you down. Just keep marching, keep marching in. Belgium has capitulated, cool. Yeah, just keep at it, just keep at it. Right here, Italy, we bring them down. Right here in the north, we're pushing in. This is a good world war. Even though it's quite easy right now because we, well, we have brought down most of our rivals. We have been fighting against them for basically ages, which means, well, if they don't have the same industrial capacity as us and have tons of logistics, they are out of supply right now. Actually, United Kingdom is still pretty fine. 88, still, still, they're 88%. They're, they're still missing stuff. Which I'm not, which gives me a massive, massive advantage when fighting. If the enemy is missing equipment and you are not, you are have pretty much won. If your divisions don't suck. If they're decent, then you should probably be fine. Uh, wh what the hell is going wrong with you? Just assault. Did you really fail on landing or something? I think you must have done that. Get a sign right there, you a sign right there. You don't wanna go anymore? Apparently not. And let's see, my division is probably gonna die again, yeah. And you're marching in, yeah. <laughs> so Norway is gonna be the most difficult enemy we have, I think. Not, damn it. I did not mean to remove the garrison, whatever, it's already done now. Let's assign one division right there. Actually, let's let's do this properly right now. 
all of your divisions, add right here. Cool. Now we're just gonna take a couple of divisions. Let's take three divisions right there to there. Let's take you two divisions to add to this stack. And let's take these three divisions to make a new order from there to there. Oh, I accidentally removed the other one. Sure, sure I did. And from there, you're gonna go right there. So three divisions at every single province. <laughs> Norway. Norway being the annoying foe we have. <laughs> uh, we're probably gonna find someone else that is also pretty annoying. Don't worry about it. There you go. Just keep marching right here. My troops are taking ridiculous attrition and losses, but it should be fine. French state has capitulated. Very good. Just keep at it. Oh, very, very pretty. Most of the places didn't have any extra annoying divisions. And right here, 55 divisions. Uh, let's see, I guess most of you were assigned down here to the south, I guess. Uh, I'm actually gonna do something like this. All of you guys that are not, well, all of you as get assigned right there. No, the same thing right here. Everyone pretty much get assigned right here and bring down Spain. While right here, uh, put a Panama. Panama fell? What? Wasn't Panama mine? Wh what? Panama was mine. Yeah. Oh, but I guess they came back. Oh, wait, when I took them from Colombia, the occupation of their land became mine and now they fell again. Because, well, I guess since only Colombia has plundered them, we can plunder them as well or something. Uh, right here, come on, Italy, Italy, nothing more. Oh, yes, very beautiful, very, very nice, very nice. I was really worried that they were going to have a bunch of units right here. And this is going to be an annoying area to take down. Oh, wait, they already fell, so it wouldn't have mattered. Never mind, uh, there we go, a nice overrun. Let's just grab a couple of these divisions, because this is also one area they love to just reinvade. So, let's just occupy that area, that area. Yep, that works fine, let's just assign two more divisions. You two, come on. You two assigned right there. Cool. 139 divisions. All of you should be assigned right there. Excellent. Uh, actually, not perfectly excellent. Go in and take that down. And you guys take this down, please. And uh, the rest of you just continue with Spain now. Free American Empire is taking down everything right here. Well, I am doing it. But well, I, I'm, I'm fine with giving them... The, actually, no. I'm not fine giving them the credit. I'm doing anything. Well, you did the invasion, which was very nice. And I thank you for it. But now I kind of want my land. Thank you. <laughs> Very quickly it changes. I'm fine with you giving credit. No, no, wait, wait, no, it's my credit. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. More upgrades to the artillery, but that's way, way ahead of time, so let's ignore that. And let's grab a bit more upgrades to anti tank and anti air guns. Uh, let's see. Omani Empire, want to join my faction? I don't want you to join my faction, so please don't. Uh, right here, you are not pushing in for some reason. Please push in. And right here. We have finally reached this position. So I want your new order to be go down right there. Take down everything in your way. Why didn't... Oh right, because we're not at war with Argentina. That's one of the few nations we're not at war with. Then I'm gonna make this order a bit... I'm gonna change that order a bit. Uh, come on. Stop messing with me. Stop messing with me. They re go, remove this, and make this new... Oh, wait, we're not at war with Bolivia either. Okay, let's just begin small. Half of South America. And push in as aggressively as possible. Yes, fine. And we're also gonna set this up. Level 10 port, level 10 port, level 10 port. Even if they destroy one of them, I want the rest to be fixed. Come on, push in. Very good. Very good. <laughs> That's a lie. Come on. And now you should basically spread around as much as possible. If you don't do it yourself, then I will just force it. Come on. There we go. Move up. Eight divisions right there. Okay, that's pretty nice. But fifth divisions. Nope, 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 nope. That's completely wrong. So seven divisions right there. Six divisions right there. A couple divisions right there. A couple divisions right there. That's much better. Just everywhere at the same time. Uh, most division should actually go to the middle as well, and not to well to one side. Middle, well, spread out more. Pretty makes sense. Uh, let's see that. Sure, let's grab the additional sniper team right there. Actually, let's do like this. 
Um, let's switch out artillery right there against recon. Why increase movement speed? And a bit, well, just better, yeah, better movement speed. I can't really say anything else. It's better movement speed. And I want that extra movement speed. What the hell are you doing? You should be pushing, pushing in right there. Did you, did you fail or something? Just bring that division down. You did fail. Really? No, you're, you're, keep at it right here. Keep at it until you somehow break this god awful division that is somehow, well, pushing you back. What kind of hero division is that? Rambo? <laughs> okay, you at least managed pushing right here, then just continue with it. Supply here is gonna be horrendous, but we're gonna keep at it and just, well, make sure that it's not as horrendous when we leave. But until that moment, just continue grabbing more land, more cities, more ports, whatever's necessary. Actually, there's a very good, nice area right here with three ports that it massively, hopefully, gonna increase my supply right here. And it seems like we need convoys, and we need a lot of them. So I'm gonna do like this, I'm gonna bump this up to the maximum, and I'm gonna, well, bump you up in the queue. You're gonna get the top prior of everything. And we're not missing steel anymore, really? Oh, crap. Nice. Very nice. We're miss not missing anything except oil. Uh, then let's trade a tiny bit all right there. Did do, did we finish our production of steel? No, we not even. Oh, actually, by quite a bit we increased it. Uh, let's see shortcut. So there's a bunch of steel right here, but that couldn't have fixed everything. Oh, it was probably just from like France and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of it's a lot of steel right there in France. And right here, just keep at it, keep pushing in as aggressively as you possibly can. Supply right here should also be pretty horrendous, but yeah, it's also fine if it's kind of horrendous right now. Uh, right here, we need to just change this well, plan a tiny bit, so you will actually take down London. There you go, and continue. And right here, let's see. <laughs> Third time is the charm. Okay, of course, we don't have, no, we don't have a naval superiority this time. Damn it, they were like, Daniel, you're just failing every always. Just stop, just stop. Okay. Uh, we're gonna grab you divisions, and yeah, I know I'm just gonna steal you from them, but it's for a good cause. I guess, kind of. Uh, let's just move away one of these heavy cruisers so you can just, for safety reasons, take that area as well. The rest of you just cover the rest of the area, please. So one carry and three battleships. Nice. And now, all of you, let's go. You're not going? Why are you not going? That does make sense. You are going and you are going. Yeah. But you are not. Sometimes I really don't understand this game. Oh, he's just simply not going. Fine, fine, fine. Then don't go. I don't care. <sighs> stupid, stupid divisions. No, oh, the Minor Canada. Let's go in and grab that territory. I have no clue how one of my troops got, we got there, but... Yeah, actually, I have no bloody clue how one of my troops arrived right here. Do you walk or something? What? I, I I guess when I made garrison order, someone transferred right... Oh, right, that's of course, that's of course. I made a garrison order, it was added to that territory, and since there's a port right, port right there, we're fine. Come on, just arrive right here, and this time I'll try to build a port right here if you don't get, well, killed off before that happens. Come on, there you go. Now, let's get a port. Actually, level 10 port if possible. And let's grab all your divisions right now, just kill off this division while we still have supply. Yep, there we go. No problem right now. And take one of these divisions, just march right over. Uh, we could have sold that right away by just attacking straight away, but we always forgot about our invasion right there, so we never really had any supply once I remembered, and when they didn't have any supply, they were just killed off instantly. Cool, everything is everything is pretty much proceeding as I've foreseen it. Bring down Colombia, that would be an awesome first step. Because supply right here is really bad. Let's fix that. We have ports coming up. Construct repair is repairing. <laughs> I don't really know what to commentate about that. Construct, construct repair. It's not constructing. What's going on? It's a trap. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything is pretty much going fine right now. God, we just have a f some final areas to do. I really wish we could just end this episode off to finishing everything. But I actually have to leave. That's why, well, leave. Just going up, buying food, buying some eatable stuff. So, yeah, that's why I was like, oh, I have to leave soon. Oh, crap, I need to record. Damn, time just runs away on Saturday, Sundays when you have fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, that you like, comment, subscribe, and join me in the next episode when we finish off this campaign and finish off the, well, Japanese Ring of Fire. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. That was a bad ending, in ending thingy. Bye. And bye. Outro. Outro. Bye.